How's it going people? Simon Slab are you? And today we've got one of the prerequisites for Blood Runs Deep. It's my last prerequisite before I can do it. And it's Glorious Memories. So, quest requirements for this. Ah. Whatever it is. There it is. So for this you'll be needing 41 Hunter, 50 Agility, 57 Magic, and 43 Herb Law. You also need to have completed Mountain Daughter, the Fremenic Isles, and Royal Trouble. So not an immense amount of requirements. But you do need a few items. So the items you'll need to be taking with you are a plank of any kind, a pickaxe, your tool belt works, a pestle and mortar, a clean irrit, an empty vial, ten earth runes, one cosmic rune. I'd recommend bringing along some food, and if you're a low level player, some prayer pots as the boss can hit fairly hard. A seal of passage, a method to teleport to Relica will help you a hell of a lot. Or simply the miscellaneous teleport with your ring of wealth is quite handy as well. So as soon as you're ready to start, go to the long hall in Relica. And you need to be talking to Manny the Reveller. So at this point we now need to head up to Natiznot and talk to the ruler Maria Gunners, or Mornis Baroga. Yeah, well that sounds a bit right. So to head up to Natiznot, just head up to the north side of Fremi, or Relega, and talk to the bird, right click, and she'll instantly take you to Natiznot. So once you arrive head into the city and literally right next to the entrance you'll find Mornis. You're right by there. I'll be coming back for you a few times so hopefully you remember. So go ahead and talk to him. So as soon as you finish talking to him, we now need to go back and talk to Brunt the Chief. And Manny the Reveller. So hopefully you brought your telly to Relica with you, whether that's your home telly or your miscellanea or just using the lunar telly, either way. And as soon as you're here, go ahead and talk to Brunt the Chief and ask him about his birthday feast. You'll then get a cutscene. So eventually when the cutscene ends, Brunt will hand you some directions which we can't actually use yet. So we need to get some more directions, so let's head to Miscellanea. And we need to be talking to King Vargas. So, in case you've forgotten where King Vargas is, he's on the west side of this island, and he's on the second floor. So head on up and go ahead and talk to Vargas. And when you talk to Vargas, he'll tell you his side of the story and you'll have another cutscene. So 
So, finally, after you finish talking to Vargas, we now need to head all the way back up to Natiznot again. And once again, we have to talk to Mornis. So hopefully you remember where he is, just inside the entrance. Now if you're a lower level and you're not sure whether or not you can take this boss on, after you finish talking to Mornis, there's a bank directly opposite you. I'd highly recommend bringing out your food, armor, weapons and prayer potions now. You'll also be needing a pickaxe and a one-click telly for emergency in case you do get battered. And you'll also need five spare imagery spaces in your backpack. You can fill those five spaces needed with food. Because while you're fighting it, you'll more likely use that food up. So, from this point on, if you're a low level, you've banked and got all your stuff. If you're a high level and you're in the same position as me then go ahead and head back to Relica and this time we're gonna go to the Snowy Hunter area which is northeast of Relica so if you've never been up here before easiest way is to go from the house telly and pretty much run directly northeast eventually you'll hit a wall as soon as you hit that just keep running north then eventually you'll hit rock crabs and a snowy patch with an NBC not far away. So as you can see, rock crabs there. And there's the NBC. And follow this little peninsula. And as soon as you get a yurt, just head straight north. And eventually you'll come to some snowy steps which we will then climb up so these are the snowy steps head on up and head straight north again and you'll notice some footprints on the floor follow the footprints right to the end and then inspect the last footprint and it should show another track. Inspect those tracks. And now it's time to dig the ice mound. So the boss itself attacks with all three combat styles and just before you get to the boss you've got to run through a room of multi-combat versus level 90s. They attack in various styles, I'm pretty sure these ones are melee for the most part though. So as soon as you enter, head directly south and you'll come to a dungeon entrance sign on your minimap. That's where we need to go to get to the boss. So enter the tunnel and quickly check whatever prayer protection on you need. For example, if you were in melee, then obviously magic. If you were in range, then melee or range and try and take him out he will fairly consistently knock you back and it always seems to be a magic attack so protect from mage may be pretty handy here but eventually when you do kill him he'll end up dropping a few items and we need to pick all of them up which is what the imagery space was for. So as soon as he's dead, he'll drop a herb pouch, an unfinished astral rune, 
Neil's throwing axe and Yeti here. We need to pick those four items up. So with her pouch, the astral rune, Neil's throwing axe and Yeti here. Make sure you have all of those items in your inventory before you tell your way. So, as soon as you've got all the items, you now need to head back to Relica. And this time we're going to head to Duchizo. So, to get a Duchizo is exactly the same way you get an It Is Not, but you talk to the other person. And that's pretty much it. So go ahead and travel. And once you're here, you want to head north to enter the city. And as soon as you're inside the city, head towards the western side. And you should see an NPC wandering around by here called Freygird. It's a woman. So ask her about the Yeti and stuff. And she'll then ask you to go and talk to King Juki Servot, which is right in front of you, Sando Town. So head on in and talk to him about the taxes. And run through his conversation quickly. And as soon as you finish talking to the king, head back and talk to Freygird again. And tell her what went down. So once you talk to her again, you'll then give her Neil's throwing axe as a memento. Now, if you need to, you can bank in Jatizo, and you'll be needing a pestle, mortar, your irrit, vial, your plank, ten earth runes, and your cosmic room, the herb pouch, the yeti here, and teleports to Relica. But once you've got all that, you now want to head back to Relica and over to Natiznot. So, once you're back on the Tisnot, we now need to go and talk to Mornis again. And now we'll agree to come to the birthday feast. So that's one down, one to go. So, obviously, the next destination will be Miscellanea, and we'll be talking to King Vargas. So, back to Ralaga, over to Miscellanea, Western Castle, talk to King Vargas.
So, once you're in here, talk to Vargas, and you'll tell him that you've got the herb pouch. And he'll ask you to go and find the ghost in the mining camp. So, that's where we're going next. As soon as you finish talking to Vargas, you want to tell you back to Relica. Or you can catch the boat up to you. And we're heading to the mining camp. The easiest way to get to the mining camp is follow the little mud pathway east and pretty much just go in a straight line east. Eventually you'll come across the tree on top of a hill, run straight past that and you'll see the music fella. And right next to him is the entrance to the mountain camp. So climb over the wall. And follow the path around. And once you get into the little mountain camp, head over towards the northeastern side of it. And there should be a goat pen. Right by here. Now on the east side, next to the fence, will be a pole on the floor. Pick that up, as we'd be needing that. So, once you've got the pole, head north. And follow it west. Until you come across a tree overhanging, climb up the tree. And you make your way to the little island. You then want to use your pole to jump across the rock. You then want to place your plank on the stone just to your east. And once you're here, listen to the shining pools. You'll also be needing an imagery space. So, after a long ass conversation with the ghost, you'll be given a diamond root. And now it's time to cure King Vargas of his yetiism. So, use your empty vial on the spring that's just appeared in the centre of the island. At which point you then want to add your clean irrit. Then you want to grind the diamond root. Then you want to enchant the diamond root with your diamond enchant spell. Then add it to your potion. And then finally add the yeti here. And you'll have the Yeti Curse Cure Potion. So, as soon as you've got that, you want to head back to Miscellanea, and you need to be talking to King Vargas again.
So this is pretty much the end of the quest, so congratulations. Let's just go ahead and talk to King Vargas. And you'll end up curing him from being a yeti. And he'll take the herb pouch from you as a memento. Now you need to head back to Relica. And we finally have to talk to Brunt the Chieftain. And you'll have the final cutscene where you find out that Baba Yaga from the Moon Clan was actually in on this little fight against a Yeti or whatever the hell the monster was. So, once the cutscene's over, you now want to talk to Manny the Reveller. And you'll get another little cutscene. Which will then net you quest complete. Which will end up giving you one quest point, 10k mage XP, 5k herb lore, a glass of beer. And you'll also get a tome of XP which will give you 5k XP three times in attack, strength, constitution, defense or range. So to get your book, just talk to Manny the Reveler and he should give it to you. Keep your unfinished astral rune. You can actually go ahead and give that to Baba Yaga over on Lunar Oil. And she'll give you another XP lamp and a profit tablet. Take that profit tablet to the Varrock Library and you'll end up getting 10 kudos for it. And finally, this is the last prerequisite for Blood Runs Deep, so Monday will be Blood Runs Deep. Hope you're all looking forward to it and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.